Hello to all my friends out there. Okay. I said it was I said it was Friday night and it was Saturday all day and I didn't know what day it was. I never know what day it is. So I bought this lovely necklace today at the thrift store and I went looking for caftans like the one the manager gave me and I couldn't find anything. But I bought this for Misha and I think it's really pretty. I love anything that is like um, crystals. It's not real, but it's cute. And so I think it'll look cute on her, but until I give it to her, I'm wearing it. Okay, so now I wanna make a classic dinner. I don't wanna pay much. I wanna be cheap, but I want good food. Of course. So, okay. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these, but um, this is low calorie. Uh, let's see. How many calories is this? 10 calories. So, uh, when I was doing the mukbang, and, and this is really a mukbang, but, you know, I don't want to call it a mukbang, but it really is one. Uh, it was discovered that sugar drinks are a big source of calories. So I thought, wow, you know, I can sacrifice, easily sacrifice sugar in my drinks. So I will try this uh, pink lemonade. The ones I've tried, uh, the ones I've tried already were tasty. So let's see. They're easy enough to make, that's for sure. It smells good. And then, you know, I made my own ice cubes. And you get eight. So these are 16 ounces. So this is uh, a total of um, eight times 16 would be 80, 96, um, 96 ounces. So that would be a lot. So they're, they're pretty cheap. Okay, so here's what it looks like. Look at this. These hold a lot more than you would think. Oh, that's good. 10 calories as well. Okay, so now, what did I make? I wanted to make, I was gonna make, it's really hot here. I wanted to make a classic chicken dinner and I wanted to make pub food, but then I got distracted because I had sweet potatoes. And uh, barbecued chicken and sweet potatoes is really, really good. Now let me take a look and see if my food is showing. Yes. Okay, so now take a look at this. This is yummy. And uh, I got the chicken um, at, um, I got the chicken for 79 cents a pound, dirt cheap. And I got the sweet potatoes. Those weren't super cheap. But I got a big one, so, you know, I got quite a bit. Okay, so what I did was... This is my homemade barbecue sauce. So I will have that to go on my chicken. And then, okay, so the classic chicken meal is chicken, potatoes, and corn, and I have cream corn. Cream corn is good. I have lots of napkins. Okay, now. So you guys saw my videos on the fake food, on the lab-created food. Okay, so they're saying one of the things that's really, really happening is people are eating more chicken. Okay, so now another thing I decided to try is this SSAM hot sauce. I bought this, you know, in the markdown bin, and, and it tastes really good. I couldn't find my, well, I'll put it up here. I couldn't find my Chipotle barbecue sauce, but this stuff's tasty. Uh, it could be Mexican hot sauce, too. And then the other thing that's really good on your sweet potatoes is lime juice. So that is going to be very yummy. Okay, now. 
So probably the reason people are moving towards chicken is because they know the chicken is real. It's not lab created. Um, another thing that is really, really a good idea to do is to make sure you're going for unprocessed food. That way you won't be getting unsavory parts. I think one of the most unsavory parts ever is the brains of an animal, especially a beef. Would they do that to us? Yeah, they would. They would do all kinds of stuff to us and we would never know the difference. I'm not shunning spam. I'm not shunning um, sausages. I'm not shunning hot dogs entirely. I'm just cutting down a bit so as not to eat so much Ooh, yummy. So as not to eat so much processed food. Another thing is, it was mentioned that processed, oh, one of my garlic breads fell. Processed food is fattening. Uh, probably because there's sugar in it. Okay, so now, once you get this barbecue sauce recipe, and, and you can get it very easily, look at this. I got it just before it dripped. Mm. You can get the barbecue sauce. And once you get the good barbecue sauce, you can put everything in this stuff. And you just put it in the oven and bake 350. Ah, here it is. And I might as well give you the raisin jam uh, recipe. I will put this on tw Twitter. Okay, ah, I just stepped on the the um, garlic bread. That's very hot. Okay, so now let's see. And if you roast your sweet potatoes at 400, at the same time as you're eating your, or cooking your chicken, this meal is a breeze. Yummy, this is good. Not to say that they're not lab creating chicken, they probably are. Um, they're, they are definitely messing around with the chicken. That's why the chicken uh, legs now are so large, but they're cheap enough, so um, at least I think it'd be better than ground meat. This is good. So the, the idea behind this meal is you know how you go out? Do you know what is totally Totally and completely illogical is how expensive wings are. For some reason, wings are a lot more expensive than legs, when legs are bigger. Legs are like wings, like, you know how the little drumette of the wing, well, that's a leg. So if you get garlic bread instead of hot wings and, um, you know, they have the crazy bread that goes with it. Gar I bought the garlic bread uh, $1 and it's always on sale for $1. What is, oh, breadsticks. Garlic bread is like wings. They're just as good and it's cheaper. I wore this blouse when I had 1 million views and when I had 1.5 million views. And now, if you can believe it, I have 1.6 million views, which is incredible. Some of the people I follow are trying to get 200 subscribers. It's not easy.
my subscribers have been stalled at 3,600 for most of the year and finally, uh, I think a couple days ago, it went up to um, 3,700. So my little plants are doing well. Yummy, this chicken is delicious. Now, how I make this is I just marinate it in the, okay, for chicken, it's supposed to be one hour, and for pork chops, it's two hours, and then I just bake them. But if I was going to use it on pork chops, I would brown the pork chops, then put the wing sauce. It's so delicious, and if you take your time roasting it, it's very, very delicious. I saw in the Inquirer that um, babies eating eggs, brains develop better. And I thought, yeah, because eggs are good for you. It doesn't seem like they have tampered much with eggs. And, and eggs are pretty cheap. Um, you can get eggs about 18 cents each, sometimes even cheaper. Chicken, potatoes, and corn. That is a classic meal. So I'm going to be going through my diet, and I'm going to be looking around, uh, you know, to protect myself against this lab-created meat, because who knows what they're doing. If any of you have comments on the lab created meat or the processed meat, my followers and I would like to uh, hear it. My followers read all the comments. This wing sauce is really, really good, you guys. You gotta learn how to make this. It's so easy. There's nothing in it. It's one quarter cup oil, one quarter cup cider vinegar. I use any vinegar. One quarter cup ketchup, one tablespoon Worcestershire sauce, one half tablespoon chili powder, and one quarter teaspoon um, garlic powder. This is delicious. Oh, you know what? This would be delicious. Barbecued. Oh my gosh. Let me show you. That is worth a thousand words. It's delicious. Barbecued chicken and uh, sweet potatoes is, is a, a classic. It's very messy. I like to eat the meat very close to the bone. It's the tastiest. I buy the cream corn at Walmart. This stuff's good. I buy the cream corn at Walmart for 50 cents a can. So my chicken was 78 cents a pound. My sweet potato wasn't particularly, you know, um, this last week I bought more expensive potatoes and sweet potatoes. I think it's really worth it if you can afford it. If not, then just buy the cheap ones for a dollar a bag. Now, let's see, what else do we have going on here? Another thing is um, to consider is chicken. You know, we were talking about when the demand is up, the price is down. That's really true with chicken. If people are eating more chicken, you know, then the price is down. I can always get chicken on sale for 99 cents a pound, even uh, breast.
Okay, so what are the strategies for um, avoiding lab-created meat? I'd say the, one of the best strategies is go for the bigger uh, cuts of meat. It's going to be less, you know, if they're doing some kind of in vitro meat, it's going to be harder, you know, to make like a whole leg or something like that. Um, uh, the processed food, though, in the cans is good in case you should ever, in, in case there should ever be a food shortage. Since one thing you're likely to run out of would be vegetables, I think I would stock up on those, um, those vegetable soups at Aldi's for 50 cents a can. Or mixed vegetables, if you can um, find those for 50 cents a can. I make really good um, chicken and rice soup. I boil chicken, you know, in chicken broth with rice, and I put one can of veg oil or mixed vegetables in. That's very good. Okay, so this is a classic. Now, what did I make for dessert? One of the things I started buying, and I really love them, is when I can get these packages of cookies on sale for a dollar. My son said he really, really likes these. And fortunately, I bought quite a few. When I went, bought them at Grocery Outlet. But um, the cookies I look for are peanut butter sugar cookies, um, oatmeal cookies, chocolate chip cookies. And so what I made to be a cheapskate is I made um, thumbprint cookies and then I put my raisin jam on it. And I had a little pie crust left, so let me show you a close up. This could be any kind of jam. This is good. Now, I like this stuff. You guys got to try this. I bought this stuff at 99 cent only. And then this is just pie crust with um, cinnamon and sugar. I will post the thumbprint cookie um, recipe on my uh, Twitter for you guys. Okay, you guys, here is the classic barbecue chicken, and God bless you all. Okay, now, I always mess this up. I would like to ask you to like if you like it. If you hate it, I would like to ask you to give me a thumbs down. <laughs> I would like you to comment if you have a good comment on the lab created food, on the processed meat, or any classic meals, I would like to hear them. And I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel and be part of the Crazy Cheap family. And a couple of my lovable followers already said they're very happy to be part of the Crazy Cheap family. And thank you for those lovable comments. And I'm praying for all of you guys, and, and so are my other followers, because they're nothing but lovable. So if you're looking for a lovable channel with lovable, lovable followers, you have found the channel, and God bless you all.